Hey kids, it's Ryan Fila with Motion Impact, the guy that came to your school and threw bouncy balls all over the auditorium. Today, since we still can't leave our homes, I'm gonna read a book to you, a little story to you called The Gold Balloon and see and think about traveling other places. Although you can't go quite yet, at least you can think about it. Let's see what this story's got for us. It was a typical summer day. Eli daydreamed as he looked out the window imagining all the fun he could have. Maybe like you're doing right now. Mommy, I want to go to the park, blurted Eli. I'm sorry, Eli. You have to go to your babysitters, she said, packing her bag for work. But I want to go to the park, Eli exclaimed. Maybe the babysitter will take you. While they took the elevator to the sixth floor of their apartment building, Eli kept thinking about the park. Knock, knock. Charlotte, the babysitter, opened the door. Hi, Eli, she greeted him warmly. Can we go to the park? Inquired Eli. Okay, let's get ready. Eli and Charlotte prepared to go to the park. Leaving the apartment building and carefully crossing the street, they set out. On their walk, Eli spotted a colorful balloon cart and ran towards it. Charlotte, I want a balloon yelled Eli. Which one do you want? asked Charlotte. There are many different balloons to pick from, but there was one special one, a shiny gold balloon. Eli pointed at the special balloon. I want that one, please, he exclaimed. There's a photo of all the pretty balloons, but that gold one, that's the one Eli wants. Charlotte paid for the balloon and handed it to Eli. The gold balloon made Eli so happy. The two of them paraded around the park all the way back to Charlotte's apartment. Eli and his gold balloon played together all day long. They ate snacks, they read their favorite books, and drew pictures. Knock, knock. Eli knew it had to be his mom, so he ran quickly, excitedly to see her. Together, they walked to their apartment. What did you do today? Eli's mom asked him. Eli chattered about his day. However, after he told his mom everything, he realized he did not have his treasured balloon. He didn't bring it with him. Had he left it behind? Mom, my balloon is lost, cried Eli. Where could it be? Eli's mom pointed at his shirt. Well, maybe it's floating around in outer space. She said, trying to comfort him. Eli imagined his balloon in outer space. I don't think so, he said. Why don't you search for it? Make it an adventure, Eli's mom suggested. Eli quickly considered his mom's suggestion and then set out to find his special balloon. There it is in space, or possibly in space. We don't know that yet. In the apartment hall, Eli saw his friend Claire. Have you seen my balloon? Eli asked her. Hmm. It's probably in a castle, she said. Eli pictured his balloon in a castle. He said, no, I don't think my balloon likes castles. Well, I do, Claire said. There's the balloon, maybe in a castle. We don't know that yet. Eli continued down the hall. He thought maybe the French teacher, Miss Oliver, would know where his balloon went. He knocked eagerly on her door. Bonjour, Eli, said Miss Oliver. Have you seen my gold balloon? Eli asked urgently. I haven't. Did it float off to Paris? Wondered Miss Oliver. Eli thought for a minute. No, he said. My balloon can't speak French. En Francais, there it is. Possibly, we don't know that yet. Suddenly, Eli saw Mrs. Irwin, Mrs. Irwin, coming home with groceries. Mrs. Irwin, have you seen my balloon? It's shiny and gold, said Eli, worried. Why, now I don't think I have, said Mrs. Irwin. I bet it's attending a tea party, she exclaimed. Eli tried to picture his balloon at a tea party. He said, no, I don't think so. Balloons don't drink tea. 
Oh my, replied Mrs. Irwin. <laughs> There's a balloon at a tea party. I don't think balloons can drink tea. Only water balloons. Those are special ones. Eli walked further down the hall. When he passed his neighbor Gabe's apartment, he heard loud music and knocked on the door. Hey, Eli, Gabe said. Gabe, have you seen my balloon? Eli yelled over the, over the noise, over the music. Well, I've been at a musical rehearsal all day, so I haven't seen it. Maybe it blew away to Broadway, Gabe suggested. Eli thought for a minute about his poor balloon. Where could it be? No way. My balloon has stage fright, he said. There it is, on Broadway. This balloon's been all over the world. Eli was beginning to think he would never find his balloon. <clears throat> he walked sadly down the hall and saw his friend Lacey. She was coming home from horseback riding. Eli questioned Lacey about the balloon. I haven't seen the balloon, Lacey said. Maybe it's riding in the Wild West. Eli contemplated Lacey's idea. My balloon doesn't like horses, so I don't think it's in the Wild West. He knows his balloon really well, huh? They must have been great friends. Who doesn't like horses? She giggled. But Eli had already moved on to ask another friend, Cooper. Let's see it riding horses. <laughs> oh, there it is. The balloon strapped to the horse. Cooper was returning from the pet store with the new red fish. Have you seen my gold balloon? Eli asked him. Cooper only seemed interested in his fish when he responded. Did you check under the sea? Cooper, balloons don't swim, Eli said. Well, my fish can, bragged Cooper. <laughs> Snorkeling. That's really hard if you haven't done it. Snorkeling is tough, so for a balloon, that would be really hard. Eli hung his head. Having asked each one of his friends, he returned home sadly. He can't find the balloon. He can't find his best friend. Mom, nobody knows where my balloon is, Eli shouted, jumped into his mother's arms. Well, where did you last have it, she asked. Eli thought about all the people he visited earlier. Um, the last time I had it was at Charlotte's. Eli gasped, his face lit up with excitement. Eli raced up the stairs as fast as he could to Charlotte's apartment. Halfway there, he saw her holding his cherished balloon. He found it. You have my balloon, Eli sighed with relief. Charlotte smiled as she carefully handed it to him. I was coming down to return it to you, she said. Eli hugged his gold friend and laughed. I never imagined it was with you. Silly Eli, there it is, with Charlotte. Turns out, it was never lost at all. The end. Well, the golden balloon, there it was. This was Charlotte, right where Eli left it. But he didn't take time to think about, where did I last leave it? He just started thinking about people that were around him that he could ask, hey, where's my balloon? Where's my balloon? Just like when you lose something and you just go straight to your parents and say, where was it? It's lost. But you just have to take a little bit of time to think about where you left it. That's the gold balloon, y'all. I hope you're doing okay. I hope your family is all okay. From the back of my truck, right outside of the house, I want you to know I love you. And it's hard to stay inside. It's hard not to see all your friends. But we'll get through this. I'll see you next time, kids.